So we're using the uh, the 200C, the battery cell today. I'm taking down some of the smaller trees. So the neighbors are building a house in here and all these trees have got to come down. I'm just doing the small stuff today because I'm taking it out on the four wheeler and there's a culvert pipe that they've got to put in back in here. So eventually I'll be able to get the, uh, the truck and trailer in here. But first take out the small stuff. That'll give me some working room to take down the bigger stuff. And I'll show you how I'll haul it out on the four wheeler in just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this guy here down and section it up. I'm trying to shoot for seven and a half, eight foot long pieces. And I just measure with my feet. So here we go. Here's a little dead one.
All right, so this is loading the four-wheeler and got the saw in the front, you can barely see it. And that's about all this thing will take, not because the four-wheeler itself won't take it, just because the, the plastic for the you know, body of the four-wheeler starts sagging if I go any heavier than that. But I mean, that's, that's a pretty good sized log. And like I said, we'll come in here and get the trailer in here and actually be able to take some of these bigger guys out. So what am I using all this for? And that's what we're doing next. Um, so we got quite a few down. Uh, the first tree was a real hassle. I don't know. I guess I made my notch too big, but the rest went very smoothly from there. And, uh, and they all got down safely. Not much you can hit out here. Although I had to keep moving the camera so I didn't hit it. All right, uh, I'll be back. now we're going to start skinning them out and making log furniture so I can show you what that kind of looks like down here so there's the beginnings of a headboard now, I've never really done this before so I'm learning as I go but and then here's the which will be like the, the post for the end of the bed that I have to cut this off yet drill my holes and then the tools for all this are Right here we've got a big Fornsner bit, inch and a half, or however you say that, might have said that wrong. And then you need a big heavy drill. Now they recommend a single speed, but uh, that's actually a variable speed Makita, but it's actually a little heavier duty than the, the single speed one that they called for, so it, it works. And then we have this gigantic pencil sharpener thing with the two blades inside of it, and then it's kind of cone shaped so this way you get the the profile on the end of it like this this V and then you go out to a round circle out there and that's what you know mortise and tenons it to the next piece and my gosh there's a lot of these in one bed like it's it seems like you never get done but we're getting there and then uh, also peeling them off I'm using a troll knife so Drill knife is over here. There's the drill knife. And that's actually just a yard sale find. And then it's got uh, just steel galvanized pipe that I welded to it because it didn't have handles. And that gets the job done. Now I've also seen these elsewhere where they have taken and basically splayed the handles out at an angle. And that may work better, but because this one was already, you know, I didn't want to heat and bend the corners, I decided to run it like it is. And it is pretty good and sharp. I uh, just use the file and a hone on it, and it does pretty good. All right, so let's get to work. All right, so we're pretty well assembled here. I went ahead and I'm going to replace the little side ones with the ones that are on the ground because these here are a little fat, just don't look right. Just don't like that look. So I found some smaller stuff, and I'm going to make that work. I'm going to sand this down a little bit. I'm going to use a grinder. Just an angle grinder with a 36 inch or 36 grit disc, and then it's just a grinder disc that's slightly worn down. And I, I know I don't have a guard on it, it's slightly dangerous. I've been doing this for a long time, and yes, I've nicked myself on occasion. Never like cut a finger off or anything, but uh, the potential exists, so be careful if you ever set up one like this. You know, um, it can do some pretty drastic things. And another, another thing is, make sure that disc never gets wet. If it gets damp, just throw it away because otherwise. Is structurally uh, compromised and can blow up so we're gonna go ahead and sand these down and replace these getting this thing fitted together was kind of a, a pain so one thing I learned was take a ratchet strap and wrap it around two parts if they're slightly splayed and just bring everything together and that that helps line everything up I'm just using the axe just a regular axe to tap everything together so it's coming along Progress is being made, yay.
is all together and I'm going to do is wait for about three days for everything to dry up evenly because I've got a couple of logs here that are still a little tacky like sticky because they're fresh cut and some of the stuff's more dry because it was either dead standing where I did you know peeled it a week ago which I think three days will probably even things up enough where I can sand it all down with the palm sander and then call it done now I obviously still need to put in some boards in the middle down in here to uh, you know for the the two by fours that'll hold the the box spring up and what I figure on doing is just notching from underneath and then screwing two by fours from underneath probably like four four two by fours maybe five just yeah probably five to be on the safe side to really make it all strong but I'll just use factory two by fours for those I don't need to make those you know custom out of logs or anything because you'll never see it anyway all right guys hope you enjoyed like and subscribe and catch y'all later